Hey, what's going on everybody? Vasette here at Outdoors with V. Hope everyone's doing well. We are on our way for a good old fashioned car camping adventure. You may have noticed I'm not in my Tundra. We are using the family SUV for this trip. I'm gonna be sleeping right back there. We're gonna clear that area back there. We're gonna set everything up and we're gonna have some fun. Looking forward to bringing everybody along with me. For now, let's drive. it is update time I pulled into the site and there are just way too many people there this area has gotten extremely popular over the years I kind of feared that you know driving into that area but I was willing to take the chance knowing that I am truck camping tonight the plans are now extremely fluid I am driving west I'm gonna see what else is out here but we're going to do a little bit of exploring, a little bit of driving, and we'll see what else is out here. We're not going home. We're not making excuses. We are camping. Whether it's, <laughs> you know, uh, on some land somewhere uh, or, you know, on the side of the road or at a Cracker Barrel, I don't care. Like, we are, we are we're sleeping in this truck tonight. We're not going home. I'll bring y'all back when I think we found something. All right, everybody. Update time. I am in another wilderness area. This is actually a wildlife management. There are two other cars here. There is mine. Again, that's the uh, Ford Expedition. That's what we're going to be camping in tonight. And there are two other vehicles here. I want to be mindful of that. I don't know who they are. So, all right, let's explore this area a little bit. There's a I think this is the James River. So that is the largest river in our state. It runs from coast all the way to the mountains. Very cool. So check this out. Looks like somebody just got here. I think they're trying to use the boat ramp, so let's get out of their way. Hey, hey. What's your name again, man? Uh, uh, Texel. Texel? Yes. V. Just call me V. v. Oh, yeah, man. you're on Outdoors with V right now. It's a, it's a new-ish yeah, YouTube channel. I started cool. it back in like May last year. Sweet. It's not that popular. Hey, it's, man. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, you're about to take your boat out? Yes, sir. Cool, man. Let's check that out. Plan. Yeah. This is, yeah, this is her. That's awesome. What do you catch out here? Uh, primarily uh, catfish. Catfish, okay. Yeah. You eat them? You take them home? Yes, yeah. Awesome, yep. awesome, cool. Um, I've been fishing out here for about three or so years now. Okay. But, yeah. Cool, man. Mm -hmm. Well, look, sorry I was in your way. No, nah, man. All, <laughs> all good, B. Have fun fishing, man. <laughs> nice to meet you, Texel. Uh -huh. Take care, brother. Too. Yeah, right, man. Dog. The bugs out here, they're insane. Like, I mean, they are they are out. <laughs> they're all over the place. Uh, spring is here. It is about 73 degrees here today. Uh, it feels absolutely amazing. There's a slight breeze. And so, 
I mean, this is perfect weather for camping, for hiking, for exploring. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I think I found my spot. I've made up my mind. Um, Texel and I, we are the only folks here now. The two cars that were here when we arrived, uh, those gentlemen, they left. One guy came out of the woods, he was fishing on the bank. Uh, he said he was fishing for a few hours, didn't get a single bite, so he left. And then the other guy in the other car, he, uh, he got dropped off by somebody and then took off. But we're gonna do some exploring now. There's really nothing else to do. I don't have my fishing rod or anything like that, which, you know, it's okay. Uh, but yeah, let's go this way. Uh, I'm gonna go towards the main road there and just check out that, that uh, bridge and the train tracks. Uh, that's how we got in here. And so we'll go from there. I'm not sure how well y'all can hear those frogs, but they are singing, man. They are singing. Can you hear them? Yeah, they're going to town. <laughs> By the way, I have a brand new camera. I'm using it right now. And so this is uh, officially the testing phase of this brand new camera. This is the uh, Sony ZV-E10. Um, actually, in the beginning of this episode, I was using the GoPro in the car right when I got here. Uh, when you saw the scene where the car was behind me, I was talking about the, the guys leaving the, the parking lot. That's when I started using this camera. I'm not sure if, you know, if y'all can tell or if you've picked that up or not, but uh, hopefully uh, everything's working well right now and I have audio and all that good stuff. It is pretty windy. This tripod, I'll be honest, it's pretty heavy. So you're probably noticing some shaking or some like awkward movement. All right, we're gonna go back to the parking lot and uh, there's another trail right next to my vehicle. We're gonna check that out. All right, everybody, I got my backpack on here. Got a couple items with me, some water. I got a snack in my chest rig. Uh, in this backpack, I have a first aid kit and a hoodie just in case I get cold. And I have some animal slash bear spray here as well, just in case. Um, other protection, you guys already know about, you know, my protection in my chest rig, but I also have a pocket knife. Not sure if I ever showed this to y'all. This is the Cairo 2 by Kershaw. Very sharp, <laughs> very awesome knife. I take it with me everywhere I go. By the way, someone else just got here. 
he went for a walk down towards the river there. So we're about to go take a walk into those woods right behind me here. That trail hugs the shoreline of the James River here. The gentleman that was uh, fishing that couldn't get a bite for a couple hours, he came right out of those woods. So we're gonna go in there, check that out. I think it's worth it. So come on with me. It's getting dark out here. I'll tell you what though, it's a really peaceful place. It's just quiet. There's really nothing much on this trail other than the river. Tree down right in front of us here. I'm gonna take that tree back there being down as a sign to turn around. I mean, it's not just that, there are so many bugs. I mean, it is ridiculous. But I mean, it makes sense, look where we are. They're eating me alive. Probably not a good idea to go deep into those uh, woods back there. Um, especially since it's getting dark, can't really see much when it's pitch black. So I'm gonna turn around. I'm getting kind of hungry anyway. I do have my snack, so I'm gonna snack on that here in just a minute. But, uh, oh, you can hear the geese. All right, everybody, I'll bring you all back when we get to the truck. Alright everybody, i tell you what we're going to do. It's getting dark, definitely getting dark. And so I'm going to go ahead, situate the back of the vehicle here and get my sleep system set up. After that, we're going to work on dinner. For tonight, we're going to have steak tacos. I uh, pre-cooked some steak this morning. I chopped it up real good. I have some cilantro, some onions. The only thing I forgot uh, was lime juice and so but I did bring hot sauce but anyway guys I'm gonna get my sleep system set up and then we'll get dinner started pretty simple setup here everybody I have the Hest mattress and the Hest pillow real excited about sleeping on this tonight real flat back here so i don't see any issues whatsoever cannot wait
right. This is the Nemo Moonlight Elite Backpacking Chair. In my last product episode, we took a first look at this chair. So far, so good. This is the first adventure that I've taken it out on. So we're testing it out. But again, so far, so good. I love the chair. Very lightweight, real comfortable. Yeah. So let's get started on dinner, everybody. <laughs> All right, everybody. Not sure if y'all can see that, but that is steak, cheese, cilantro, onion, and hot sauce. So let's go ahead and take a bite into this. Mmm. Oh, man. It's still a little warm, um, not as warm as I'd like. I'll tell you what happened. A game warden showed up, and we talked for like 45 minutes. Officer Crockett, shout out to you if you're going to see this video. We started talking about my channel, so shout out to you, sir. Thank you for the conversation tonight and the stories about your fishing days here in this county. Officer Crockett grew up here. He was talking about catfishing. He was talking about, you know, like, uh, 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 you know, golden spots to go and fish. So cheers to you, brother. Nice to meet you. As y'all can see, we're in the vehicle. And that is because the lights that I have to use for y'all to see me, insects were just crawling and flying all over the lights, all over the camera, all over my face, all over my food. And so I just decided to bring everything in here and just enjoy it in here. It just wasn't smart to stay out there anymore. I was literally getting swarmed by mosquitoes, gnats, all sorts of insects. So we're eating this in here. I'm going to sit here and enjoy the rest of my dinner. I'll bring y'all back here in just a moment. All right, everybody, all done with dinner. 
It was incredibly delicious. Uh, it definitely uh, filled me up and I'm satisfied. So I love tacos. I love steak. It was just a perfect combination. I wanted to talk to you all about a couple things before calling it a night and going to bed. So first, on March 8th, I turned 37 years old. I had a great birthday with Ashley, my kids, my friends, my family. And so Ashley took me to a uh, restaurant, a very nice Italian restaurant on the night of my birthday. I enjoyed it very much. I'm going to flash a picture of what I ate on the screen here. And just look at this dish right here. Absolutely delicious. I, uh, I just couldn't believe how good it was. This was the first time, you know, we went to this restaurant. We tried going to this restaurant before. Uh, you know, it's a very high-end Italian restaurant. A lot of folks go there. And so uh, a little bit on the pricey side, but hey, it was worth it. In terms of our kids, we just hung out, you know, over the weekend. We had a good time. Uh, my daughter, our oldest, uh, she got me a lantern, a pop-up lantern. I think the name of the uh, brand, uh, the outdoor brand is called Embark. And uh, I forget where they got it from, but a really cool little gadget, um, inexpensive, budget friendly, and it, it works. It works. You know, my daughter, she doesn't go out and, you know, to like, uh, uh, you know, to REI or to, uh, you know, like a, a, a really a famous like outdoor brand store. You know what I mean? She just, she just sees something. She knows it has something to do with camping and uh, she knows I love it. And I thought it was adorable that she got that for me. I'm actually going to use it. It's in the back. And so I'm going to pop it open, turn it on, and have a little bit more light in the back. I want to talk to you all about one more thing before heading to the back. Last weekend, I attempted to go out on an adventure. Today is Saturday. Last Saturday, I woke up, went to use the restroom and whatnot. I checked my phone. I see that the time is about 6.20. I think it was 6, yeah, 6.25 or something like that. And... It's working, right? The phone's working. And I go back to sleep. 35, 40 minutes later, I wake up and I'm pushing the button on my phone and it's not working. It's stuck on like the Apple screen, you know, the white Apple icon for um, uh, the Apple iPhone. And so it's not working at all. A couple minutes later, I'm, you know, playing around with it and I'm thinking, okay, maybe the phone died, right? So I plug the phone in. And it's telling me that I need to plug it up to my MacBook or laptop or whatever the case is to restore the phone. So I looked this up and it happens to some iPhones or whatever the case is. And it usually happens after a update, a software update. And so I plug it up and I've literally tried five times to get this thing restored, restored, right? It's not working. And, you know, I'm like, hey, I got to go on this trip and I'm talking to Ashley about, you know, are you good with me not having a phone, blah, blah, blah. And she said, "Uh, uh no, you're not going out there without a form of communication. The Apple store, they don't open till 11 o'clock. Right. And so I get to the Apple store right at 11 and I am literally waiting there for about an hour and about 10 minutes or so. When it was my turn to get serviced, they tell me that my phone needs to be repaired and that it's going to take until about 3.15 p.m. I'm sitting here like, look, I'm supposed to be going out on a trip, on a camping trip. And now I have to wait here until 3.15 to get my phone fixed. Like, wh why does this happen to me? Right. You know, why is this happening? All right, so fast forward to 3.15, I come back to the store, and I go up to the gentleman, he hands me my phone, and he says to me, we can't activate your phone due to your carrier. And so I'm like, what? He tells me I have to go to my carrier store. So now I'm driving, I get there to my carrier store, it's like, I don't know, four, almost four, right? I wait in line, I'm sitting on the stool, and then a very nice young lady comes and helps me. But, you know, we're spending time on this phone, trying to get it to work, trying to get it to activate, so on and so forth, contacts, all this other stuff. You know, she's looking at my plan. You know how it is, right? 445, okay? 445. 
So now I'm done. I'm sitting in my truck. I'm saying to myself, do I even go on a trip? I call Ashley and she's like, you know, babe, do what you want to do. But yeah, I mean, you, you've lost a good part of your day, right? And so I'm thinking, what kind of trip can I go on? It's already this late. You know, I had a plan to backpack that morning, right? And so it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Fast forward to today, this morning, all right? Because we got a lot going on tomorrow, it's Easter weekend. I didn't plan a backpacking trip. Uh, I planned, as you already know, to go to a campsite uh, in the western part of where we live. I am uh, packing up for uh, the trip, and I'm packing some food in the kitchen. All of a sudden, my kids and my wife, they're yelling, water, water. There's water dripping from the ceiling into our mudroom, okay? I'm not making this stuff up, all right? I turn around, I walk to the mudroom, and there's water everywhere. Dripping from the door frame, from the ceiling, dripping from the, the globe <laughs> where the light bulb is. Like, there's, there's literally water inside the light bulb and inside the globe uh, for the light in the mudroom. I'm not kidding. All right, so now I'm thinking... The laundry room is right above the mud room. So it's 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 the laundry room. It's gotta be the washer. Something's up. I go up there, open the door. The very first thing that happens, I put my foot into the laundry room and I step into a huge puddle of water. I mean, I'm talking like splash. There was there was water splashing onto me as soon as I put my foot down. It was insane. At this point, I'm like why does this happen? I mean, I'm about to leave, literally about to leave for a trip and this happens. So I'm thinking to myself, let's relax. Let's calm down. I'm going to go ahead and call, you know, the, the water extraction team or whatever the case is. They get there. They're working for hours. Okay, there's so much noise going on that the kids and Ashley, they just left. And um, I'm, you know, hanging out with this guy and, you know, trying not to rush him because I want him to do a good job. But man, he, he was there for a while. He was there for a while. Fast forward to when I finally get to leave, which is like, I don't know, 2.15, 3 o'clock, something crazy like that. Um, and you already know the rest of the story. I get to the campsite, way too many people there, and here I am. Now, the point of this story is last weekend, yeah, uh, it, my plans got messed up, okay, and I decided to stay home. But this time, a ton of stuff was going wrong. A ton of stuff was, you know, trying to stop me from coming out here. But I was not going to be denied. I wasn't going to make any excuses. I wanted to get out here some way, somehow. Here I am. I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time. You know, this is different for the channel. We haven't done this before. And I'll be honest, I have not slept in a vehicle on a camping trip in like over a decade, probably 12 years. So this is really cool. This is really fun. I'm having a great time. I hope y'all are too. I'm in the back getting ready for bed. But first I wanted to show y'all this little light gadget. You just lift up on this handle here right and then you just hit this button and there's the light right there pretty cool right yeah pretty bright for you know under 15 bucks so i might use this as a little night light tonight and then just turn everything off right so oh man i like it pretty neat all right we are comfortable everybody this hess mattress top notch i know i've talked and talked and talked about it before nothing but good things on this mattress and this pillow so i know i said this earlier uh in the episode i think i did uh i haven't done this in a while car camped truck camp whatever you want to call it actually in the vehicle I haven't done it in over a decade, about 11, 12 years or so. But doing this is really bringing back awesome memories. We are certainly going to do more of these on the channel. Stay tuned for that. 
when I was younger, I did this all the time, you know, in, you know, a little car, a big car, a small SUV, whatever the case is. Uh, you know, I used to go up to the Blue Ridge Mountains or Shenandoah National Park or just anywhere where there was a really cool scenery, where there was, you know, the woods or whatever the case is, right? I think I even did it at a rest area one time, uh, but it's always a really cool time. It's always a really cool adventure. If you haven't done it before, I highly suggest that you do it. All right, everybody, it's time for me to go to bed. The time is 10.30 on the dot, 10.30 p.m. I'm going to sleep. I promised my wife, I promised my kids tomorrow that I would be there before they wake up. So I'm going to have a pretty early start to my morning. I'll see y'all then. Have a good night. Good morning, everybody. The time is 6.30 a.m. And I think I hear, like, loud music or something. Like, something with a ton of bass to it. It's pretty far away. You, you guys probably can't hear it, but... Yeah, I can definitely hear it. Anyway, so... It got pretty cold last night. Well... This early, early this morning, about 2 a.m., uh, you know, I woke up and it was, you know, a little chilly. And so I got my Teton Sports sleeping bag out. This is a canvas sleeping bag. Y'all have seen this before. And I got my hoodie on, so nice and bundled up here. Um, but I'm going to get up. I'm going to move some things around. Might take me a while. But, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and we'll have some coffee and some breakfast. Bring y'all back soon. Good morning again to everybody. It is now 6.58 a.m. Got some things moved around in the truck. And now it's time for breakfast, time for some coffee. I loved this setup. All I had to do was crawl back to the front seat, get out, get my shoes on. And here I am, right on the James River here in my home state. I love it. I love it.
right, everybody. Time to get breakfast and coffee going. It feels amazing out here. It is like 54 degrees and there's a slight chill in the air. It feels amazing, it feels amazing. Everything's waking up. You can hear some woodpeckers, all the birds, and I swear there's like a cat or something in the woods making, you know, like some screaming noises or something. I don't know, but it's meowing and doing all sorts of stuff. I don't know if it got caught on camera or not, but yeah, it's making a ton of noise. All right, so let's get started. This is done. It should be. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> this is jalapeno cheddar biscuits and sausage gravy by Pinnacle Foods. I've covered this meal before and this is incredible. Oh man. Absolutely delicious. If you haven't had this before, you definitely need to try it. I mean, if you, you know, go on backpacking trips or if you go camping, you want something real simple, this is what you need to get. All right, let's try this coffee. Oh man, Woo, that's really good, but it's hot. I had to slurp it a little bit. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, let's take the top off. Yeah. It's not that cold out here at all, so I don't know if you can see the steam, but it's hot. <laughs> Oops. I'm still the only person out here. Other than that music I heard in the distance this morning, 
I haven't heard or seen anyone. So, all right. What to talk about before we wrap up. All right. What to talk about before we wrap up. All right. What to talk about before we wrap up. All right. What to talk about before we wrap. One more time. What to talk about before we wrap up this adventure. Uh, let's see. When you go camping, when you go backpacking, car camping, whatnot, you really have to be flexible with your plans. Yesterday was a perfect example. So sometimes you're gonna go somewhere, you know, and your plans just fall through. The uh, trail is way too busy, it's closed, there's construction going on. Uh, maintenance whatever or you get to a campsite and it's completely run down or there's too many people or roads closed it's flooded so many things could go wrong so just like yesterday you have to be flexible and you have to figure out your next move I'll be honest everybody when I got back into the car after seeing how busy that campsite was I was a little you know almost defeated you know what I mean I I uh, felt a little like <laughs> depressed that I couldn't find you know a spot where I wanted to be and uh, but I knew that I wasn't gonna let it stop me right you know what I mean I, um, I recovered I got back on the road and I found this spot this spot was real real nice uh, the people I met here officer Crockett the game warden uh, um, uh, Texel and a few other folks uh, they were all very nice and you know pleasant you know, no issues at all, uh, you know what I mean? But it was really, really nice here. The sound of the flow of this river is so calming. I could stand here all day and listen to that. I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here, everybody. I'd like to thank all of you for joining me on this adventure. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for coming along with me. I really appreciate your time. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button. It definitely helps the channel. I cannot wait to get back out here on another adventure with everybody. Hope everybody has a great rest of your weekend and awesome productive week coming up. Till next time, everybody. Take care.